So. <laughs> so, hey friends, it's me, Florida Thundercloud. Fun Thunder fuck. Fuck. Who am I? What is my fucking name? Who even knows anymore? <laughs> Long term no see. So. Wow, yeah, I really have not vlogged in a very long time. I Life was not compatible with vlogging. And I kind of lost faith in all my vlogs and just like unlisted all of them. <laughs> so um, they're up for my memory purpose, but like no one else can see them anymore. It's 2020, um, which means that it's actually 10 years since I first started cosplaying, since I first started going to conventions. Like, basically 2010 was like the year that my life changed a lot. And I was like 14. <laughs> um, let's do a little origin story, shall we? This is an introduction to a new sort of, not necessarily a series, but kind of just like what a lot of my YouTube videos are gonna be about. In 2010, um, that was the year when I went to my first ever convention, which was a Twilight convention in um, the UK, in Birmingham. And uh, it's called Eternal Twilight. It was run by Showmasters slash Massive Events. And I ended up going to the next, like, eight of these Twilight conventions. Um, all of them up until the very last one. The one I went to was meant to be the last one, then they did another one. But by that point, I was, like, over Twilight. <laughs> they were really lovely. Like, lovely, lovely conventions. Honestly, like, while I had a great time at Supernatural conventions, and, like, Comic Cons are great, and Drag World's really good, and I'm going to Drag Con, that's the thing. These conventions were so nice, because they were so little. I think, like, the most they had was, like, 400 500 people which is really nice um it was in the hilton hotel in birmingham airport which is really nice they did really good wedges i would go back to the that hotel just to get the wedges they were good and this was the convention where i they had a costume collection like a costume exhibition by um this guy called john henson who sadly has passed away since um and he had the most amazing collection of like Twilight outfits used in the films and also ones used by The Hillywood Show, which if you haven't heard of them, check them out on YouTube, they make really good parodies, oh my god. I remember seeing that and seeing cosplayers, um, especially people dressed as Alice, because Alice was like queen, I mean, fuck Edward and Bella, like it's all about fucking Alice, like I really cannot stand Twilight anymore. It was a big part of my life, I was obsessed with it for like five years, cannot watch a film anymore without laughing. I, they're dreadful, I'm sorry. Or in my mind they are. If you like them, I'm happy for you. Like, live your best life. But Alice, queen. <laughs> then I was like, I want to do that. And I mean, I was 14, so I was like, had pocket money, that's all I had. Um, but I did manage to get some a couple cosplays together, starting very, very basic, very, very terrible, but you know what? It just shows growth, doesn't it, kids? That was my first sort of steps into cosplay, and I did start doing a few other things, like I did like an Amy Fond cosplay at one point, um, from Doctor Who, um, and I had like, I had big dreams. I had big fucking dreams. I like had a big list of all these cosplays I wanted to do, and like, there was no way I was going to be able to do them because I had like no money and also at the time like I didn't want to touch the sewing machine. I was like, nah, I don't want to sew stuff. I don't want to wear wigs. Wow, how the times have changed. Yeah, and I was just like, I don't want to fucking make shit. Like, I want to buy it. And like, that was what I did. And I would look for things and buy things. And I will say that I've got a lot better at it now. Like, I remember there was one outfit from, I believe, Eclipse. Um, yeah, it's the scene from like the graduation party. Like, Alice has a really cute dress. And I found this dress online, I was like, oh my god, like, it's exactly the same. Like, I'm, I'm fucking good. Like, I found it. And then I got it, and then I looked at the picture again, and I was like, it's nothing like it. <laughs> I still wore it, I still was like, yes, this is my Alice graduation party dress, it looks nothing like it, but like, <laughs> just use your imagination. But I had a great time, and that's what matters. Um, I didn't start dabbling in, like, actual sewing until 2013. Uh, I went to Forks in Washington in uh 2013 um this is actually after i kind of got over twilight but like i still was like i still was like had this bond i still like it had a special place in my heart then like it's not now where i'm like oh my god like i love the memories i'm not dissing the memories or anything like that it, like it gave me some lovely friends and lovely memories um just the films themselves i think are trash I was sort of getting over it, I was moving on to Supernatural times, um, but we were going to this thing called Stephanie Mayday in Forks, which is amazing. I might actually make a video or like a blog post about it, because like, it's actually a really good time. <laughs> it was so lovely, and I would actually go again if I had the money. So I was like, right, I'm going to make Alice's bridesmaid dress from Breaking Dawn. I had already done it, but I'd like altered a dress, and you know what? It wasn't terrible, like, the colour was completely wrong. 
and I spent hours and hours and hours like painting um, silver lines instead of the beading. Like, it wasn't bad, but um, I wanted to make it. I was like, no, 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 the next step is like making it. And I gave it a go. I bought a dress pattern and then I bought really terrible, disgusting, shiny, cheap satin. Never, ever buy cheap shiny satin it's disgusting it looks cheap it's terrible but i did because at the time i had no idea what i was doing i bought that and then i was going to cover it in chiffon and it just didn't work because it was so shiny that it just made a weird like it didn't go well with like the grain on the chiffon like it just looked fucking dreadful so i had to ditch that but um i did end up making other things i, I started making um, I made an Elsa costume, that was like my first proper thing that I actually made and completed. Again, the skirt was made from a very weirdly draped slash self-drafted pattern for a skirt, it was fucking awful. And it was made from cheap shiny, cheap shiny satin, so that was even worse. But then I made another skirt, but that was also pretty terrible because I made it out of cotton, which is fine. But because I wanted it to be sparkly, I like coated it in very diluted fabric paint, like silver fabric paint, so it made it really stiff. Like, Elsa's skirt is not stiff. It's meant to be like ice. Well, ice is... It's not meant to be stiff! And, I don't know, it just looked fucking dreadful. I still have the corset. I think I still have the skirt somewhere. Um, I really want to do, like, a big sort of um, thing where I get find all my cos- dig out all my cosplays from, like, the last ten years and, um, like, wear them now with, like, better makeup and mostly better wigs because I have lace fronts now. Woohoo! Um, and just like show the glow up like look i've like developed um <laughs> character development man so i've had a cute little time um going from being the resident mini alice at twilight conventions mini because originally there was another alice and i was like 14 and alice because i was alice fun fact fun fucking fact at my last twilight convention i went to a little actor you may have heard of called Rami Malek was there. You know him? Bohemian Rhapsody? Uh-huh. That dude. He was there. Because at the time, he'd been in Night in the Museum and a couple other things, and he was in Breaking Dawn, which I think a lot of people have, like, repressed in their brains. I don't, most people are like, wait, Rami Malek was in Twilight? Yeah, he was. <laughs> and I was super excited when he came. So Rami Malek was at this convention, and um, I... Met him at the party on the Friday night because he went and hung out at the party and that was really cool. It was a really, really quiet convention, maybe like 200 people. Like it was really, really quiet. And um, so he came to hang out at the parties. It was very hit or miss at those conventions. Like sometimes they would, sometimes they wouldn't. No other convention I've been to, they would hang out and mingle at the parties like that, uh, which was really cool. It was really nice. Then I was dressed as Alice then. I met him on the Saturday, I met him on the Sunday and I was dressed as Alice every time in a different outfit. And I remember he, um, he first of all was like, how many suitcases do you have of like Alice costumes? <laughs> and then um, he actually wrote on one of the things I got him to sign, like best dressed or something. So I'm just gonna say that like, Ram Malik appreciate my cosplays. Just saying. <laughs> Cosplay has given me a lot of really special memories. I mean, Felicia Day really liked my cosplay of Charlie Bradbury. I made her LARP outfit, which I'm really proud of. And also Jared Padalecki was really sweet about my Charlie cosplay. I remember that was how I knew that he'd remembered me from a year prior and I fully like cried. Like, <laughs> he, he said he loved my cosplay the first year and then the next year he was like, I still love your cosplay. And I was like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> and then like, I think the same year was when I was, it went to VanCon. So I saw him after um, I worked at Disney and he was like, oh, it's my favorite Charlie. And I was just like, ah, um, <laughs> bless. And um, yeah, and obviously, now um i have two very special titles um that are related to the fact that i cosplay the last girl of the time i i find it funny i find it a good time like you're not gonna find me thinking i'm better than anyone <laughs> at all i'm just like lol what is my life um <laughs> but yes i am i am the apparent uk premier alaska impersonatrix and recently granted the name of thunderfuck not really sure how that happened. Apparently Alaska already thought I used the name, <laughs> which I didn't. That was a fun interaction. I was like, so I heard that you called me a thunderfuck. Um, my intention was to ask, does that mean I can use that name? 
And she was like, but you are. Oh, you don't want to, that's fine. And I'm like, no, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Good times, good times. So yeah, it's been a good time in cosplay for me. <laughs> Just excited to see where life goes on. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's been a really nice, experience with cosplay and obviously now like I do drag but I also do drag cosplay and I think I'm I'm okay at it I wouldn't say I'm a fucking pro I wouldn't say I'm like fucking the best in the world but like I can put together a sewing pattern or I can follow a sewing pattern there's still a lot I want to learn and this is kind of a series that's going to hopefully document the learning experience the premise behind this series is literally just documenting me when I'm making an outfit or a cosplay. It could be anything. It could be an Alaska cosplay. It could be an original. It could be an original drag project. It could be um, a drag cosplay or whatever. Just to sort of document it, um, I find this personally really helpful um, when I'm researching a costume, specifically cosplay. If it's something that's been widely made, like um, Star Wars, which I'm doing a lot of research into right now. There are whole communities. Like, I just joined a Facebook group for Ray cosplay. <laughs> I feel so, I feel very special right now. And the amount of resources on there, I was like up until like 3 a.m. just like looking through everything. And I'm only making one Ray cosplay right now. Um, but I was literally looking at like freaking Rise of Skywalker Ray, like, oh my god, this is how it's made. <gasps> and I'm like having such a good time. Honestly, I fucking love it. It's so good. And what I love as well is like blog posts where people are documenting how they made things, whether it's a tutorial or just kind of documenting it. And also videos as well. Um, and so that's what I want to do. I'm going to be doing this in conjunction with my blog as well. So I'll be doing a written version and a video version. Um, I find that helpful because sometimes when I read a blog post, I read the instructions and I'm like, what? They have no pictures to go with it. They just have a picture of like the completed thing after they've done the thing. And they describe the thing, but I'm like, how the fuck did you do the thing? <laughs> that made sense. And so I find videos very helpful because normally that explains what they were saying um, and you can see it. So that's what I want to do. My first one is going to be Resistance Ray, which is from the end of um, The Force Awakens start of The Last Jedi. And I'm really excited. Like, I have the fabric sitting behind me. I'm just waiting for the dye to turn up, which it was supposed to turn up today, but it hasn't. Yay! So that's fun, but anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this goes. Um, I'm definitely gonna be trying to do this on my uh, YouTube, on my uh, blog. I'm not sure about anything else. Um, I mean, we have a trip in LA coming up and I would really like to try and vlog that or document that in some way. So maybe you'll get a few vlogs, a few vlogs from there. I can't talk today. Or uh, maybe it'll be just on my Instagram. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I don't wanna make any promises because honestly my brain just flicks about all over the fucking place so anyway um i'm gonna uh make a start on resistance ray which i'm super excited about i'm not sure when the video will be up because it will basically depend on when it's finished or like how i split it up i haven't decided yet we're gonna see how it goes so yeah thank you guys for sticking with me i know i've kind of reduced my social media presence a fair bit. I don't have a public Twitter anymore. Um, I have my Instagram, I have my Facebook page, that's about it. But those those who have stuck with me, you are good eggs and I'm very grateful. So I'm gonna go because <laughs> I just already said I'm gonna go and I carried on fucking talking. So lovely to see you again even though I'm just looking at myself in my phone camera. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!